everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emily, and today I'm going to be doing a chit chat get ready with me video for my classes today. If you like what you see, feel free to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you want to see more videos from me, I post every single Friday, and yeah, let's get on with this get ready with me so I'm not late for class. So it is currently 8.15, I have class at 9.30. I typically wake up and I have class at 9.30 every day, except for Fridays, I have no classes, but anyway. I usually wake up around 8.30 every day. Sometimes I wake up at 9 if I don't feel like actually doing makeup, but anyway. But I got up early today, I got up around 6.50 to register for my classes and it went well for the most part. Um, I have. I got three out of the four classes that I wanted, but I emailed the teacher for the class I didn't get to see if she could override it. And so I'll say the classes that I'm taking. So one of them I'm taking, well, it's not really a class, I guess. It's a practicum for my major. If you don't know, I'm an early childhood major. So I'll be going to the center three days a week and working there. Um, for about three hours I think those days and just facilitating activities with the children just being their teacher and learning more about that and I'm not really exactly sure what else we're gonna do in that um, and then we'll meet once a week at night to discuss I think things I don't really know so that's one of them that's six credits I'm only taking four classes this semester coming up because that one is six credits so I'll have enough credits. So then the second class that I'm taking for my major is culture, culturally represent. I think it's like culturally representation or something and I think in that class we are just going to learn about how to represent like different cultures in the classroom and stuff because obviously as a teacher we're going to have children in there that are different cultures from other students. We're just figuring out the appropriate ways to handle that, I guess, is the word. I don't really know. Like, not that you have to, like, handle it, but, like, you know, there are some cultures where, like, some things are frowned upon that we do here, like, in America. One of them, I guess, is, and I don't know what cultures um, don't really like this, using food as play items like how sometimes in like sensory tables they'll be like beans or rice and stuff some cultures don't like that so just being very sensitive to like how different cultures do different things and they accept different things while thinking of like religion ish like holidays because you know not every child is going to celebrate christmas not every child's going to celebrate thanksgiving and every child's going to even celebrate halloween but i don't know if we're going to get into that in that class so that'll be interesting to see. I'm not going to tell you guys like what products I'm using just so I can get ready sometimes when I do make these videos even though I'm very very early this morning. I still can be late for things. So anyway, so that's the second class I'm taking. So those are the two for my major. And then the other two I'm taking are language acquisition. This one is a online class. I really like online classes I'm taking one this semester and it is amazing. You just plan out whenever you want to do the assignment and as long as you get it done by the end of the week. So I'm really excited to take that. Um, it's about how people learn language basically and how they learn like multiple languages and we'll talk about like children and stuff so I was super psyched to potentially take that class because I am currently taking reading not reading um language and literacy development in early childhood right now and we just learn about how children learn how to read and write and like the stages they go through when they're younger and like how to promote that in the classroom and we also kind of briefly touch upon like dual language learners so I'm excited to take the language acquisition class to learn more about that. And then the last class I'm taking, I don't want to say I didn't want to take this class because I did want to eventually take this class, I just wasn't planning on taking it this semester, but that is, I don't, I don't remember the name of it, I know what it is, comedy and history for film. So I think it's just going to talk about like comedy 
um, in the history of it in film. But yeah, I did eventually want to take that because that'll fulfill my global awareness connection class, but I wanted to try and take American Sign Language because I am super interested in that. I think it would be awesome if I could learn how to sign um, to use in the classroom just in case I do have a child that uses sign language. And even if I don't ever come across that, just to learn like basic signs so I'm able to communicate with other people that might, I just think that would be really cool. And just to know it in general, I just feel like that'd be really cool. Like to say I know sign language. So I wanted to take that and like I said, I registered at 7 in the morning, and today is the second day of registering, and I think the only people that registered yesterday was seniors, sports, and then I think people on the president's list. So it's not like a huge group of people registering yesterday, and the class was full. Like, I got on right at 7, typed in all of the numbers, and yeah, it was full. So I emailed the professor for the class to see if they could, like, override it and add me in, um, because we can do that at my school. So if she says yes, then I'll drop the film class and save that for another semester, and then I'll take American Sign Language, and if I can't, I'll just try and take American Sign Language another semester. It's not a big deal. All right, I'm gonna do my eyebrows really quickly off camera and I will be back. All right, I'm back. Eyebrows are on. Excess powders wiped away. We're ready to start eyeshadow. Yeah, I'm super excited for this semester to honestly be over. I like my classes pretty much. There's one class that I'm like, it's just kind of boring sometimes. The professor, he just talks like straight from the PowerPoint and elaborates a little bit. But other than that, he just talks. Just, he just reads everything off the PowerPoint and he posts them online. So I'm able to follow along during class if he posts it for class. Sometimes he forgets on Mondays, but it'll be there on Wednesdays. So, but either way, they're posted. So I'm, sometimes I'm just kind of like, when I pay attention. And that honestly sounds so bad, but... You know other than that like i'm really enjoying all of my other classes this semester i have two today and they're like one right after the other so it's nice because i'm done with classes by noon but i have work at three to five it's fine because the time usually goes by fast and i love going to work honestly like some days honestly like i don't really want to go but for the most part, I really enjoy going there. Like the kids make my day. Some of the things they come up with are really funny. Like yesterday, one of their small group activities, they just have like toy plush sandwiches you could like make and whatever, like different topping, not toppings, but like ingredients, like put in sandwiches. And um, I told one of the kids that was sitting there that I didn't like tomatoes and he kept putting the tomatoes in it and he would give me the sandwich but he wouldn't tell me there were tomatoes in it and so every time i would go to like take a bite he'd be like i put tomatoes in it yeah, that was really funny and then when i was leaving i said bye to like a group of kids that were sitting kind of like by the doorway playing outside and um i was like bye friends and whatever and then one of them was like, wait, what's your name again? And I was like, it's Emmeline. Because sometimes they have a hard time saying my name or they think it's Emily because they sound the same and there's a lot of Emilys that work there. So it gets confusing, but I just remind them my name whenever they need it. And um, he was like, so anyway, he was like, what's your name again? And I was like, it's Emmeline. And he goes, right. I like you. And I was like, aw. Like, thank you. And he goes, yeah, you're one of my favorite teachers. That just like melted my heart. <laughs> Completely made my day when he said that. But yeah, I'm just kind of ready for the semester to be over. Like I said, I like my classes for the most part, but I just feel like I'm gonna really enjoy my classes next semester even more. 
and I'm just excited for the holidays. I can't wait to go home for Thanksgiving, see my family, my friends. On the week before that, I have um, a family friend. Um, she's like my little sister. She's coming up to visit the school. She's gonna stay with me and we're gonna go to a hockey game. It's gonna be super fun, so I can't wait for her to come. And then my parents are gonna come up too with her parents and they're gonna do whatever they want. Yeah, and the week after that, I go home for Thanksgiving, so I get to see my parents twice. Also, sorry if the lighting's bad. It's really kind of dark, not dark, but like, it's not super bright out right now. But yeah, like I was saying, I'm super excited for the holidays. Like, I just love the holiday season in general. I'm really excited to watch Christmas movies and decorate for Christmas. It is one of my favorite things. And I'm also excited for it because um, vacation, winter break, um, I get to be home for like a month So that's nice. I'm also excited because I do have some video ideas for the holiday time. Like I'm thinking of doing um, a Black Friday haul um, when that comes around in a few weeks. Might do a Black Friday vlog. Not really sure if I'm gonna be up for that and how awkward I will honestly be walking around the mall but I'm definitely gonna do a haul if I honestly get anything for myself. Um, if I only get presents, then I'm not gonna show you guys, but I usually get both stuff for myself and presents, so. Anyway, so I'm thinking of doing that. I think I'm gonna do a what I got for Christmas video. I think I'm gonna do a decorating my dorm room for Christmas video. I think I'm gonna do a setting up my Christmas tree video when I do set it up at home see that i think i'm gonna do a thanksgiving get ready with me i have some like holiday-esque vlogs that i'm thinking of depends if they play out in january i'm going to disney so that'll be exciting so i will definitely be vlogging at disney i'm also kind of thinking of doing vlogmas if you don't know what vlogmas is it's when you vlog every day in December leading up to Christmas and I'm not really sure if I want to do every day and, and you upload the a video every day too so I don't know if I want to do that or if I want to vlog every day but upload one video a week so it'll be like vlogmas days one through seven in one video just because, one, I don't think my life is going to be that interesting enough every day, honestly. So I feel like the content would be boring every day and really repetitive. Because I do just do the same thing almost every day. The weekends are a little bit different. But um, something I'm doing that. And then also uploading an extra video each week, including those vlogs. Maybe. So I'm kind of still thinking about that. But I definitely want to do some form of vlogmas and then maybe if i do do the weekly things like i'll upload like just the extra video like like a chit chat get ready with me or whatever whenever i kind of feel because sometimes i feel like that might be even a little bit too much especially because finals will be coming up around then i don't know it's just stuff i'm still thinking about so yeah i just have a lot of things i'm kind of planning to do hopefully they play out and yeah and they all revolve around like november december so that's why in a little bit of january so that's why i'm kind of just ready for the semester to be over so i can also just do those things and just have a break from college because i'm kind of ready for a break so since i'm not talking about all the products that i'm using i'm just kind of going along but if you guys do want to see a more in-depth tutorial of my everyday makeup, I would gladly do that. Let me know. Leave a comment down below if you guys would like to see that. And I'll talk about the products that I use while I get ready. This is also not really my everyday makeup. I am going a little bit more bold, I guess. I'm putting a little bit more makeup on today just because I have the time and I'm filming a video. I'm just feeling like wearing a little bit extra makeup to try and help me seem like I'm alive because I'm super tired right now because I didn't really sleep well because who sleeps in college 
so yeah so I was up to like 10 30 like doing homework and then um, I had to tidy up my room and stuff a little bit and put some things away so by the time I was done with that it's around 11 I would say and then I um, was gonna just watch one episode of friends but that one episode the ending was Phoebe going into labor so I had to watch the episode after that to see what happened because it was very exciting and yeah so I watched that so by the time I was done watching those two episodes it was around midnight ish I had a little bit of trouble falling asleep I finally did woke up around 2 a.m. because I was really thirsty got water drank that went back to bed woke up around 5 for whatever reason and then went back to bed woke up at 6 50 registered for classes and then I just stayed up because I couldn't get back to sleep. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time with this lip color, so hold on. There we go. I like how it's bold. Alright guys, so that is it for this chit chat. Get ready with me. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more videos. Like I said before, I post them every single Friday. Leave a comment down below if you want to see that everyday makeup tutorial. Also leave other video suggestions down below or just leave me some love because it makes my day. Feel free to follow me on social media. My Instagram and Twitter are both Emmeline underscore Rose underscore and my Facebook page is Emmeline Rose YT. I will have those linked down below for you in the description box. And if you're wondering where I got this sweater from, I will have a video linked down below of a try-on haul that I did that may or may not have featured this sweater. I will see you guys next week. Bye!